Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I write articles about how to style certain things for tall women. If you are a little bit shorter than 5'9", you can still get some great ideas from those articles as well. But in today's video guys, I got five tips on how you can remain stylish. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. They're very simple. You can incorporate all five of these today and start to look a little bit more stylish. So, number one would be statement jewelry. If you are a person who does not wear jewelry, you are missing out completely, okay? I'm from New York City and we had vendors from all different backgrounds. Indian, um, Africans, um, who Africans who made like pieces from like brass and stuff. We had uh, Muslims who had certain types of jewelry that they used to have from their countries. So to me, statement jewelry can pretty much make any plain outfit look extremely stylish without even thinking about it. So let's take a white tank top and some jeans and add on a nice statement necklace and some small earrings. Or if you like the opposite way, you can wear larger earrings like I have, probably no necklace or a dainty necklace and probably like a watch or something. I wouldn't do too much with all big statement jewelry because it can be a little bit busy. But so in order to keep it still looking stylish and not tacky, I would recommend you just picking one out of the three to be your largest piece. So that's number one, statement jewelry. Number two would be to layer your clothing. So I have on a cardigan and a mock neck. Okay guys, it's a little warm in Atlanta, but I do work from home. <laughs> but it's chilly in my home and I have a no, uh, no sleeves uh, shirt under here. So when you layer your clothing, it at immediately adds to your outfit. So let's take a, again, a plain white t-shirt and some jeans and throw in a blazer. That took your outfit from plain to a little level up. Then you can also do cardigans. So, so I've seen women wear one piece, I don't even wanna say a cat suit, <laughs> but something like that with a cardigan with, um, I've seen them wear stirrups with sweaters, not sweaters, like shirts with a cardigan, like a long cardigan over that. I've seen girls do blazers with button-ups under, t-shirts, graphic t-shirts with but, um, with a blazer over it. So things like that. Adding a piece over something else immediately will add some style to your outfit. A lot of people don't like to layer because it's very tricky, but if you don't overdo it, it can, be, it can look extremely, extremely nice. So that's number two is to layer your piece. Number three would be hats. Oh my God, who doesn't love a hat? My favorite are fedora hats. I just like how they look on me. And I also do like um, beret hats. I love berets. I don't know, when I was in New York, I wore trench coats with berets, wool coats with berets. I just like them. I think they're very classy. They'll never go out of style. They have wool. They have, I've seen recently, I've seen a, a straw one. <laughs> um, they have leather ones, which I love. And fedoras, of course. Now, my favorite fedoras are the fedoras where the brim of the hat is structured. I prefer those over the other ones because, I don't know, they just look a little bit more diva-ish to me. And the other ones are more floppy, so I would wear those with something a little bit more flowy, maybe something off the shoulders. But the more structured one, I think it gives life. So that's number three, to wear hats. Number four would be to step outside of your comfort zone. And this, this is one of those where I feel that a lot of us kind of deal with, and I think I deal with it too, where we see things that we really, really love and we're like, oh, she pulled it off. Oh my gosh, she pulled it off so great. I can never do it. Just try it. Step outside your comfort zone and I guarantee you, will re you won't realize how much that little fear that you had inside of you was just holding you back from being great. So step outside of your comfort zone and you will become the great icon that you intend to be ladies okay so that is number four number five would be to 
show off what you feel is your best, what you're most confident about on your body. For me, my arms and my shoulders. I like to show shoulders. I think it's very sexy for women. You don't have to do much. You don't have to show your cleavage at the same time. But if you show a little bit of shoulder, it'll definitely add to your outfit. If your hair is pinned up, I think that's super sexy. And I also think men love the neck. Um, I also think that if you are a person who loves your legs, if you love your legs, show your legs off. If you don't like to show your legs or you feel uncomfortable with them, but they're really pretty, wear a long cardigan. Wear shorts, wear a cardigan, uh, wear a long blazer. That's still very stylish, also on the list and show it off if you like the small of your back if you can wear shirts that kind of come up in the back a little bit but the front is long and you could also wear things that come really low in the back um i don't do back stuff <laughs> i wish i had a really nice back uh but i have this little roll back here guys and i need to get rid of it but if i didn't i think that's a beautiful part of your body to show and i think it's very classy it's not over the top it's not you showing your entire back off to your crack <laughs> but it's enough to wear men and women like she looks really nice okay so those are my five tips for you guys to remain stylish if you like videos like this please comment below and if you Stay to the end of this video. Please comment Coco. We see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore NY. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.